guys and welcome back to my channel. Today on my channel we are going to be testing out a new mascara. It is the Blink Mascara Amplified. It says stop painting your lashes, start tubing them. This mascara is $26. It is available in both brown and black colors on Sephora's site. Now this mascara is made to be a tubing formula that is made to be smudge, flake, and clump proof. Who knew? This is also made to give you glamorous volume is the key point of this mascara. So I am very excited to test this one out for you. If you are new around here, I do do wear test videos every Tuesday. And if you are not yet subscribed, I would love if you click that button and followed along here on my channel. Now let's jump right into testing this out. I will say I do not tend to look up information about a product. I mean, I purchase them, but I don't tend to look up information about a product before I try it out because I don't want to know too much information and I want to give a true first impressions what my thoughts are. This is my Surratt Lash Curler, by far the best lash curler out there. I love it. <clears throat> All right, let's open this up. Okay, natural bristled brush. It's a nice fat brush. It is natural bristles, as I mentioned. Got to work it in. Now, I will say with some mascara, this is very light coverage so far. Some mascaras, the first couple times you use them, take a while to kind of like, I feel like some of them you have to have the tube open for a couple of days before you really, really get it. This is very light and fluttery so far. Now I personally, with my lashes, I use a lash serum, I use New Lash. And with my lashes, I like the look of really lengthened and fluttery lashes. I don't want a spidery lash and I don't want too much, I mean, like I have a good amount of volume, but like too much volume looks clumpy to me. So look at the difference. This is so pretty. Now I'm having to do a couple of coats because it's not coating all of the lashes, but I think that's because the product really has to work up on the brush. So I'm kind of just working it back and forth. All right, so this feels like it is one full coat. So I'm gonna zoom in and show you the difference from one to the other. Okay, taking a look at these, we've obviously got one coat on this eye and we have nothing on this one, just so you can get an idea of what they look like. They are very fluttery and very full feeling. I'm gonna go back in and do another coat on this. Now this is always my eye that is my better of my two eyes. My left eye is my eye that gives me trouble. All right, I just got a little bit up on my lid. But that is user error, not flaking or transfer. I'll get that off after I let them dry. This is very pretty and very fluttery. This is a second coat. It looks very voluminous and very full. I like that. Usually when I get too much volume, they get too clumpy. This is very like fluttery volume. So you can see this here. See how it looks very fluttery. You can see the little bit of transfer I got right there, but very fluttery volume. I'm interested to see what it looks like one coat now that I've tried it a little bit. As I said, I'm interested to see how it does on this eye now that I have opened it up and kind of done a couple coats on the one eye with it. I'm interested to see how it coats for the first coat now with this. I just pump my lash curler a couple times, hold it. There's no rhyme or reason to it. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna turn this way for you guys. All right, it's definitely coating better than it did the very first one on the first eye. So that's good to know. I just had a lash fall out and fall down like out of my lashes when I was combing through them. All right, so this is my trouble spot all the way in this corner because I always get very clumpy and then up in this front corner gets clumpy always on this eye. I just almost touched that down on my cheek. That was funny. All right. So first coat is still nice and fluttery. Not, it wasn't as easy as this eye, but this is always my easier eye. My trouble areas that I'm having with this mascara are the two trouble areas I always have on this side. I clump in the outside corner and the inner corner. So let me show you the difference from one coat to two. All right, looking at this, we have one coat here, two coats here. All right, going in for a second coat. The brush seems much wetter now. 
The first time I pulled it out, it seemed very dry. I just realized you might not be able to see that. Now it is definitely a wetter brush. I'm having more trouble separating. It's getting a little bit clumpy for me on this eye. Really having to kind of play with it and work with it. Now it looks better. This is two coats on both of them. I did transfer a little bit to the top of my lid on both eyes. So I let that dry for a moment and then clean it off. But I'm going to zoom in first and show you guys. We are at two coats on both of the eyes right here, just so you can see them up close and see how it looks. I wanted to come back on now that I have all of my makeup on. I put a little bit of shadow under my eyes, put my blush on, lips and all that good fun stuff. Um, I'm very interested to see how this works. Um, my lashes, as I mentioned, I have a lot of lashes. They're very fine and I like them to look nice and lengthened and curled. Um, some mascaras hold the curl better than others. So I will be checking back in at five hours and 10 hours to let you know how it held the curl and what it looks like after the day, see if it transfers, if it flakes, any of those things. Those are some things I always look for out of a mascara to see throughout the day. So I will be checking back in at those five and 10 hour marks to let you know my final thoughts. Five hour check-in on the mascara. I don't know guys. Mm, they're like definitely losing their curl, their lift. They're going more straight now. This one still looks better than this one. They have not flaked, they have not transferred, they have not smudged, they have not any of those issues that I might normally have, no transfer, no nothing. Let's zoom in and I'm gonna show you the difference between my lashes and the lift. All right, so taking a look at them right here, this one still has a little bit more lift than this one. This one has gone pretty straight, but this one I felt like the mascara held on to heavier and thicker. So at five hours, I'm just so-so on this. I'm not loving it, I'm not hating it. We'll see at 10 hours how it holds up. 10 hour check-in. It's definitely dark out now, you know? All right. Hasn't really changed much since five hours. This one still looks better. This one looks patchy. This one is almost all straight. Excuse my bright red eyes. But if you can see, these lashes are no longer curled up on this side at all. This one has a slight lift to it, but definitely between the two, you can see the difference that this one, some reason, held more of a curl than this one. So, I mean, it's okay. Would I rush out and get it? No. Would I tell you to go get it? No. There are better things out there in that same price point. If you want to spend around the $26 price point, still, Lancome is by far my all-time favorite mascaras. I always go back to them. There's every kind out there for what you are looking for, whether it's volume, whether it's length, whether it's volume and length together. By far, they are still my favorite brand. This is fine. It's okay. I just wouldn't bother to repurchase. If you are new around here, I would love if you clicked that button and subscribed and followed along. And as always, guys, if you have any additional questions on anything I talked about here or have an idea of a product you'd like to see me do a wear test on, I'd love to hear about it down below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day.